Now, some people think they can get rich quick by looking here. Aha! Now, this bit of brown muck could be your winning ticket in a very unusual lottery. And I'm keen to see if I struck gold. I've got what I think is a piece of ambergris. It's an unusual substance that forms in the intestines of sperm whales. Rumour has it that ambergris is worth a lot of money because it's used in making perfume. So, to find out if I've got lucky, I'm going to verify my treasure with Te Papa's marine mammal expert, Anton van Helden. Working around whales and every year people bringing in things off the beach, uh, not a single piece in 20 years has been ambergris. So let's lower your expectations slightly first <laughs> and then we'll, we'll, have a, we'll have a look. What is it exactly? Well, it's strange stuff. Do you want to see a piece? Yeah. Right. It's a substance that forms in the small intestine of sperm whales and only in sperm whales and then only in about 5% of those. So it's a rare substance indeed. If you look closely at it, you can see it has lots of inclusions of, of squid beaks. So this is the, the meals of that sperm whale. It comes from the stomach, but how does it arrive on our beaches? Ah, no, so it's formed in the small intestine, so it's beyond the stomach. If it was formed in the stomach, it might be thrown up by the animal. It's not quite the case. In fact, it probably passes out the other end of the animal and end up uh, cast ashore on our beaches. But for the most part, the big, part, the big pieces that we have have come directly from animals that we've cut up on the shore. So why is it so valuable? Well, once upon a time, it was used in the perfume industry. It has a very particular character. If you smell that... I can that, smell it. I mean, it's musky, isn't it? There's a very smell. musky smell. So much like musk is used in, in perfume still, it, it had that quality. So how can you tell if it is ambergris and not just a cow pad? One surefire way that we can test as to whether or not this is ambergris. And that's the hot wire test. Push it in there, you'll notice it in oh, yeah, instantly liqui and liquefies. See, it comes out, it's got a very chocolatey colour to it. And if we feel it tacky, yeah. get your fingers all mucky. <laughs> what is it? It's like tar. And you can smell that. It's sort of rich tobacco-y kind of smell. Mm. Yeah? I don't know if I'd want to put that behind my ears. Well, some people find it very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my piece, and I'll take it out of the box. Well, the I mean, colour's pretty it's good. It's looking good, isn't it? It is, but... See, if you smell it, it's got a very different smell, right? Sort of seaweedy. Yeah, it's... Rotten in fact, seaweed. if we look at that, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the attachment for seaweed. Right. right. It's, Current it's street value? To a rock. Uh, very... <laughs> <laughs> you might sell it to a gardener who wants to put it, but I doubt you'll get much for it, quite frankly. In fact, ambergris now has been really replaced by synthetic materials, so the value for it is, is really not what it once was. Ambergris used to be worth its weight in gold to a lucky beachcomber, but these days it's lost its shine. So I guess I won't be giving up my day job to go looking for more of this gunk.